Welcome to Screencast 10C, Expected Value. In this particular problem, we are going to deal with insurance policies that cost $800 a piece. Based on past research, an average of 1 in 50 people will file a claim of $10,000, an average of 1 in 100 people will file a claim of $20,000, and an average of 1 in 250 people will file a claim of $50,000. The author is asking us to compute the expected value to the company per policy sold. Not to the individual, but to the company. So we're going to do it from their viewpoint. Hopefully, they're making money. There are actually two slightly different techniques for computing expected value. If you read the notes for this particular module, you'll see that I used a slightly different approach than the author used. I would like to do this particular problem based on the technique that you see in your textbook. However, regardless of the technique that you use, we're still going to be dealing with gain and probability. Because for each section of this particular problem, we are going to have to multiply the gain by the probability, and then we add all of those sections together. To start this problem off, we're going to work it item by item. We're going to begin with the fact that the insurance policy costs $800 for everyone who's going to buy it. We're going to deal with that policy cost in our first empty column. The gain to the insurance company, because obviously everybody has to pay that, is $800 and the probability that people are going to have to pay that is 100 percent. In other words, it is a probability of one. Everyone who purchases a policy has to pay that $800. They can count on that. Then we're going to move to what they have to pay out. The first scenario is that 1 in 50 people will file a claim of $10,000. Because that is a payout to the company, I will be writing that with a minus sign to show that it is something that's going to have to be paid out. It's not a gain. It's the opposite of a gain. The probability for that is 1 out of 50. The second payout amount is $20,000. The probability for that is 1 one-hundredth. The third scenario is that they're going to have to pay out $50,000. The probability for that is 1 250th. Table helps us organize what we're dealing with. We're going to read the table top down when we set this scenario up. Remember that to find expected value, we are going to be multiplying the gain times the probability. In the first case, the gain is $800 times a probability of 1. In the second scenario, there is actually a loss of $10,000, and the probability for that happening is 1 50th. The third scenario shows us our loss of $20,000. We will be multiplying that by its probability, which is 1 100th. And our fourth scenario shows a loss of $50,000. The probability of that happening is 1 250th. Now these probabilities need to be combined, and we do that with addition. When you're actually computing expected value, Rather than figuring the individual probabilities and ending up rounding, it really is better off if you enter the entire expression into your calculator at once. In other words, open your parentheses, enter in the 800 times 1, or obviously you know 800 times 1 is 800, so just enter 800, close the parentheses, plus open the parentheses, negative, make sure you use a negative, not a minus, 10,000 times 1 divided by 50, close the parentheses, plus open the parentheses, negative 20,000 times 1 divided by 100, close the parentheses, plus open the parentheses, negative 50,000 
times 1 divided by 250, close the parenthesis, then press Enter. If you have done the computations correctly, you will have found that the average gain per policy sold to the insurance company is $200. That means that if they do sell 10,000 policies with an average gain of $200 per policy, they will realize a profit of $2 million. Remember, the chart is a very helpful organizational tool to figuring expected value. If you set it up with your gain and your probability in each column, then you combine those through multiplication to give you your individual terms, and then combine each one of those terms through addition, you will end up with the expected value. If the expected value is positive, that means they're showing a profit. If it's negative, that means they're showing a loss. Based on that, you can then go ahead and compute the expected profit or loss for multiple policies, which was the second part of this problem. 200 times the 10,000 that they hope to sell would yield them $2 million in profit. Thank you for viewing this screencast.